You don't remember my name? Oh god, oh god, oh god. You're Julie. Like Susan, that's terrible with names. That's the hardest part of that. That's Todd. The hardest part that's of Jason. Todd. Being in front of a camera. This Jason. is bad. If you want to make it in YouTube, you gotta learn people's names, really? Julie. You gotta learn people. Right. Nah, gotta I, make it in I YouTube. I heard like two people say your name, so that's why I got stuck in my head. And huh? My name's Greg. Greg, I will never forget. Greg. Think Greg. Greg egg legs bag. Seg way. So we landed in Zurich and they don't have our luggage. <laughs> so. Is this a vlog? <laughs> this is uh, an Instagram post or a vlog. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm Surprise. They lost a lot of people's luggage, including Jason Horton's. And you're also Jason, Jason too. Jason Yang. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's your channel? Jason Yang Violin. Damn. I feel like I might have seen you before too. Oh, really? <laughs> None of us have our suits, so we can't really go to opening night. So we're gonna find some weed and cocaine in Switzerland tonight and see how in that order how they party it up. This is the view from Jason Horden's room. He's got a much better view than I do. Bastard. Bastard has such a better view than me. Bastard. Myself in so Jason and I just taking a romantic walk. We're taking a romantic stroll. Little 360 panoramic view for you. Uh, we don't know if they're gonna let us into the event because nope, we don't we have our suits. <laughs> so we're just like, fuck it, we'll just walk. Yeah. And because we don't even know if we're gonna get in now. In the meantime, we're gonna be able to check out this place. Oh, there's some erotic stuff over erotic here. Store. It's a porn theater. Holy crap. Oh, it's a porn it's a it's a poor mall. <laughs> what, what the hell? This is the romantic side and this is the lustful side. Jason and I made it. So now we just gotta figure out how to get in. Let us in with our tuxedos. It's behind that bus over there. You'll see it in a second. They'll recognize us. You'll see it. Oh, there it is. We did it. We got our stuff. Jason and I made it. We walked forever. We found the rest of the band. We fell in love. <laughs> yeah, for the first we time. We found these guys. I found, more people. I found people that are dressed like me. Yeah. Oh, you got a, like a legit GoPro. I got a, oh, whoa. My right. GoPro's in my luggage. Oh, yeah, I carry my GoPro. Bastards. We're gonna go watch this movie called Good Fortune right now at the Art House Piccadilly. I got Cat Riffic behind me. Hi. She's apparently just a vlogger, but just a vlog. what? I don't know. sells what are herself you? short. What are you? I'm just a guy who talks. See, that's, even, that's it's worse. essentially the same. <laughs> yeah. Look how handsome this guy is. Perfectly chiseled, like the, the cheekbones and the facial hair. It's just the suit. Dude, you look like you look so sharp. It's amazing. Here we are, people. Good fortune. Dance for us. Um, dance for us in public. You shut up and dance. She said it. She said it. She said the title of her channel. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, so meta. This is Todd. He's a director, but he's good looking enough to be in front of the camera. <laughs> what? <laughs> His reaction just shut me up. This is a great angle of you. Greg or Craig? Greg. Greg with the G. What's your channel? Eric Conover. Wow, that's yeah. just, just my name. This will be good for when I dye my hair. Reduces hair fall by 71%. Those are good numbers. Those are good numbers. Those are really good numbers. Hi, Fabian. Yay. I said hi, Fabian. Yeah. No. Okay, thanks. No, no, we're done. Your hands out there, so you gotta, gotta raise and say, Me, me, me. There's yes, me, me, there. me, me. me. <laughs> uh, great job on the documentary, I thought it was really fantastic and inspiring. Um, a question for JP this, this documentary does cover a lot of um, your work ethic and your philosophies, your mentality, and I feel that 
Um, a lot of people will make a lot of excuses for themselves based off their upbringing, their experiences of why they can't achieve success. Um, I'm curious to know as to what kind of personal development did you do that allowed you to, to develop such a mentality even despite the circumstances you were dealt? Very good question. Did you all hear that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, at seven years old, the Variety Boys Club, our brother and I made a flower box, carried around door to door, so we sold it for 50 cents and made a quarter. When I was 11 years old, I had a paper route, and to build my LA Examiner morning paper route bigger, I would go out, my brother would go out, we'd go knocking door to door in our paper route to get more customers, so we got more money at the end of the month. I think we made about $30, $32 a month selling papers, but we knew it could be done. So it was really personal development. I think the most personal development I've ever received, and I wish I could do it today, if I could do it today, every one of my kids would have to do it for a month or two. As soon as they got out of school, they'd have to do it. And that's selling encyclopedias door to door. No appointment, no one knows you're coming. That is tough. So most of my personal development was, Hi, I'd like to tell you about, close the door in your face. <laughs> so eventually you learn little by little what to say, how to say it a little easier, a little more interesting, so they'll want you to come on inside and you give a presentation. Then I learned that after 100 doors are slammed in your face, you have to be just as enthusiastic on door number 101. And that's a big secret of success. Be prepared for a lot of rejection, because if you are, when it comes along, it's not gonna hurt you in the heart so much you could continue on. And then do all the things other people don't wanna do. When they say, no, 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 when you're out of money, you're out of money. If you believe, like I did with Paul Mitchell, the products you had are that good. All you gotta do is talk to enough of thousands of people and one or two of the hairstylists will buy from you, they'll use and say, wow, this is really good stuff. Then you're into the reorder business. So self-development, though there were two books when I sold encyclopedias I read that were very, very good. They're 70, 80 years old, but they're still bestsellers. One is How to Win Friends and Influence People. Priceless book, priceless book. The other one was Think and Grow, Grow Rich, Rich by Napoleon. Oh, yeah. These are great books about mm -hmm. dealing with people, mm -hmm. thinking your way through things, no matter how tough things are. But I don't think there's anything out there I've ever read or heard about that tells you if you keep on, you're up and then you go down, you're up, you go down, you keep on going down, things are really tough. How to keep on overcoming rejection. That's something you've got to know about. And if you know you have a lot of rejection, when it happens, obviously it's not going to hurt you as much. Okay, I hope that answers Thank your question. You. Yeah. Try McDonald's, um, Switzerland yeah. food. Yeah. With John Flickster. Yeah.